and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a really exciting video and I am pumped to do it and there's a lot of stuff and yes from the title you guys know it is a back to college haul video. Da, da, da. Alright guys, so this year I am living in an apartment, so I do have things purchased that if you are just living in the dorms, you obviously will not need, like a shower curtain, you're not going to need a shower curtain. And this thing is ridiculously heavy. Oh. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm going to start out with is my bedroom stuff, and this year, instead of having those crappy twin beds that you get, that they give you in college, where you literally can't even fit your body in them, because they're so... This year I'm having a full size bed, but they recommend that I buy queen size stuff because it's an extra long full bed for those really freakishly tall people. I don't know. So the first thing that I got to go on my bed is the mattress topper. That is the comfortable squishy thing that you lay on top and it makes it so much more comfortable makes it feel like not a rock because that's just not fun. Okay, so this one is the big one. It's the tag says it's $99. We did not pay $99 for it. No. Um, I don't know. It's just squishy. It's big. It's a queen size. And it's going to make sleeping so much more comfortable. Suggestion. If you live in the dorms, I really suggest getting one of those. I mean, you can get it anywhere. Walmart. That one was from Kohl's. Um, literally just purchase any of them. It will make it so much more comfortable. I know college I go to, they don't even give you a real mattress. It's like something you'd get at like sleepaway camp. So yeah. It's so heavy. Okay, so the next thing is my comforter and me and my mother have searched and searched for this because I was kind of getting picky about my, which I know that I just wanted plain white. Um, I didn't really want too many like wrinkle ruffles or anything and I didn't want it to have like square, a lot of them had like square patterns on it and I didn't really like that. So I was just getting, you know, like, oh, I'm not going to find it, whatever. But I found this one and it's so heavy. Oh my gosh. I don't even know if I can fit it, the sucker in here. It is Liz Claiborne and it kind of has a chevron pattern and they're kind of shiny, but it's just white and I really love it. So this is what I'm going to top my bed with. To put on top of my bed to make it a little prettier, I am going to take my afghan that my great aunt made for me at my grad high school graduation, and I absolutely love it, and it's like the softest thing in the world, and you just want to like fall asleep and cuddle up to it and just like, mm. Okay, I almost forgot about sheets. So the sheets that I picked are actually fun. I wanted to make my bed really plain, but then spruce it up with the like surrounding like pillows and the sheets and stuff. So I got these leopard print ones, and I think that they're like, a, they look a little more like sophisticated um, and older. I don't know. I still wanted to be, them to be fun. I don't want my room to look like I'm boring and I'm a grandma because I'm not. I like to have a little fun. But yeah, so I got these cheetah ones and they are Home Expressions by JC Penney's and they're microfiber sheet set. They are a queen sized with the Q right there. And yeah, not much to say about those suckers. They are sheets. Then for some little added comfiness, I got myself a heavenly throw from Kirkland's. So maybe it'll feel like I'm in heaven when I'm wrapped up in this throw blanket. And then from TJ Maxx are my pillows. I have two pillows. There is this really cute one that has an M on it because my name is Marina. And it's really cute. So my color scheme is obviously, I don't know if you guys can tell, it is gold, white, and pink. Those are my colors. And I'm really, really excited. I keep saying that, but I just really am. Okay, so the next pillow, I'm going to try to make this video as less crappy as I possibly can, is this one. These are obviously just decorative pillows because nobody wants to sleep on a pillow that has, like, beads on it. That's not good. Okay, so this pillow is actually a really good idea. The pillow inside of it is just a pillow that I've had at home, but at, uh, where did I get this? Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby, they have these pillow covers that um, have a zip on the side, and they open up, and you can just put any kind of pillow that you have inside of it that would obviously fit inside of it. But they have a hundred different covers, so I got this gold one, and that is, like, an awesome idea for changing up the, the look of your pillows without spending like $20 on a new pillow every time. So that is a way better option. Oh guys, it is like really hot in here. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna go through is bedroom accessories. Now, whether you are moving into college for the first time, you're living in dorms, wherever, you are going to need 
clothes hangers. This is like an obvious must, but these ones, if you haven't, you probably everybody have seen these in stores, but they are the ones that are, um, the non-slip ones that are kind of velvety feeling and they are perfect. I've already owned these and used them the last year and I absolutely had to go buy more because they are perfect. Um, obviously I got mine in pink but they come in all different kinds of colors and they even have like ones that are like made for especially for like scarves or accessories and stuff like that. So this is something to check out and I got these ones from TJ Maxx and they are so the next item I got from Ikea, and there are two in a package. They are curtains. It is upside down. Here you go. This is what they look like. They're just a little mesh, and I'm not going to use them as curtains. I'm going to use them to make a bed canopy, and with these kind of little the Christmas lights behind me, um, I have another pack of them. There's 100 lights. I got these at a yard sale for like a quarter. Awesome. I'm going to string those through it so it'll give kind of a fairy tale look to it. And hopefully, maybe if I'm able to, I would love to string a garland of flowers along with it. And I think that would just be beautiful and pretty. But next item is a lamp. And I don't even, oh, the lampshade's in here. So we can take this sucker up. So to go along with my gold, pink, and white theme, this is the lamp that I chose. It is cream with gold they're kind of shiny polka dots all over it and these stand boards over there and it is black so that's going to match perfectly and so the next thing so i can keep this video rolling all right the next couple accessory items that i have are actually paintings one of them one of my friends did for me when i first moved in and this is so cute guys look it has the kent state logo on it and this is a great way to like personalize your walls if like you painted this is on just a canvas if you painted or had a friend paint you something like this it's so stinking cute and it was so sweet of her to do she came to one of my football games I was cheering at Kent and she I didn't even know she was there and all of a sudden I turned it was the end of the game and I turned around and all of a sudden she was there I was like ah like and I started crying and I was so happy and it was just it was my first game ever and I was so just overwhelmed and excited and so she made this for me and I hung it up on my closet all year long and it just was a great reminder of her and it was beautiful and then before I went to college I decided to paint this one it is of a mermaid this is her back and her tail it put glitter on it she's just sitting on a rock in the ocean with the waves splashing in the background and it says those who don't believe in magic will never find it and that quote is from what's his name Roll doll something like that I don't know I found it on Pinterest and thought it was adorable and I absolutely believe in it so this is a great way to personalize your walls and I feel like I'm just keep talking and rolling and let's keep going on to the next thing so this one is an M got this from Hobby Lobby obviously they can customize it to your letter of your name if your name's Katie it can be K or C or whatever and they oh here's a picture on the back so they have like lights that you plug into it and it'll light up in the back and you can color it whatever color you want decorate it yourself and I think this is really awesome DIY project and I've already opened it because I tried to get it to work and I failed so for a little bit more wall decoration I got these three mirrors they're really really cute they are white they are circular. They are from TJ Maxx. Got these babies for $9.99 and they are lightweight. That is really important. If you are in the dorms or anything, you cannot put nail holes into the wall. So you have to use like the sticky tape or like sticky hooks and stuff. And you know, those things can't hold really heavy things sometimes. So you want to make sure anything you get for the wall is lightweight. That is good tip. Okay, so one more tip. Now, this is a pretty, pretty pink vase. I think it's gorgeous. And guess where I got it? Da, da, da! A yard sale. Yes, a yard sale. And me and my mom have been yard sailing since I can't even, like, I, my whole life I've been going with her to yard sales. And this sucker was 50 cents. And you would not find this at a store anywhere, but it's so stinking cute. So yard sales and garage sales are a great way to find really cute stuff for really cheap. And, I mean, I'm just probably just gonna run it through the washer and it will look so cute with some flowers in it so try garage sailing if you've never gone to one go to one and just look around you never know what you're gonna find all right guys are you still with me hello hello are you still there <laughs> all right so we're moving on to bathroom stuff and I'm gonna start with my towels and I'm gonna look like such a six-year-old but it's totally me there are mermaids on this towel and I love them so much and this towel is so 
soft. I don't think I've ever felt a towel so soft. It's almost like a blanket. And there's like a cute little blonde one with a pink tail. And then there's one over here. Oh, I didn't even notice this. There's ones with pink hair. That one's me. That one's totally Marina. So those are gonna be my bathroom towels and I think they're adorable and I don't care if I'm gonna look like a six year old because that's half my personality anyways. <laughs> so my shower curtain to go along with that, my kind of color scheme in my bathroom is kind of like a pinky orangey color. And I think this is beautiful. This is from um, Chasey Pennies and I think it looks like the sunset. And, you know, when the sun sets, the water turns different colors or whatever. And I think this is pretty. So, I mean, yeah, just a shower curtain. No big deal. Um, this one says $36, but I highly doubt that we paid $36 for it. Because we always get stuff that's obviously on sale. Because nobody wants to pay full price for anything. Okay, to go along with the shower curtain is a shower curtain liner. Because this is not waterproof or whatever. So, this is going to be on the outside. And this clear is just the plastic, you know, stuff that hangs down. It's gonna be on the inside, so this doesn't get wet. And that's gonna be that. And then to hold that up, I got these really cute shower curtain um, hooks, and they're from TJ Maxx. They're pink, they look like they're little orb ball things. I don't know what to, to call them, but that's what they are. So that goes perfectly with my color scheme, and I love that. Now, if you're in the dorms, you obviously won't have to deal with any of this bathroom stuff. I actually, I did have a bathroom in my dorms, but we didn't have to, it was all taken care of. It had a door to it. It was just a shower. It wasn't a bathtub. This time I'm gonna have a bathtub. I'm so excited for a bathtub. I'm like, ah! I feel like my energy level in this video has been extremely high. Maybe because I just had a coffee and it, you guys are like seeing my, my the effects of coffee on Marina. All right, one really boring thing that you're gonna need if you're living, you know, but on your own for the first time, you're gonna have to go out and buy yourself a plunger because there's gonna be, there's a bee like right outside my window and I'm, it's freaking me out. Um, this isn't a plunger, this is a toilet bowl scrubber. Uh, don't worry guys, it hasn't been used. So don't worry that it's flying around my face. But yeah, you're gonna need cleaning supplies um, to clean your bathroom or like a kitchen or countertops or windows, all that unfun stuff which I'm not even gonna show one here because that's like would be the bore boringest video ever so okay so then so we're gonna move on to kitchen stuff and let's just move right into it so the first thing I'm gonna go through is my cups and these cups are beautiful I got them on sale and they are multicolored there's a green one a pink one a turquoise one and a purple one and these are the tall version and then I also got a shorter version these ones have kind of like a honeycomb detailing on them but they're still really 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 cute same colors and then I know I kind of went a little cup crazy I'm not even gonna need this many cups so I'm probably gonna leave most of these at home but let's see if I can open them up so this video isn't very long all right so these cups I got at a yard sale again and they were really, really cheap for like a giant set of them. These are the short ones. I also have taller ones, but they are clear at the top and they fade into a pink on the bottom. And so I just think those are really pretty and totally fit my style. So moving on to the last category, I believe is my kitchen stuff. And I'm living with three other girls. So I obviously don't have to bring absolutely everything because we're gonna end up sharing stuff. But one little tiny set that I got from Ikea is uh, this little, pan cooking stuff which looks like this little picture you know just some essentials and you know they'll bring some stuff I'll bring some stuff and it'll just work out just peach then onto the smaller stuff these are just some really cute dish towels that I got from Kohl's and all the ones that I found were like really like oh, and had pumpkins on them but I mean those are still cute but I wanted something fun looking so I got this is more like a pink and orange one this one's more of a rainbow colored one and then this one's more on the blue side so I thought those were really adorable and then for kitchen accessories cutting board cheap I'm I mean some wooden ones go for like a hundred dollars and that's ridiculous so if you could just go out and buy like a plastic one I don't even know how much the sucker was but it was probably only like five bucks so that was a good deal and then just because I thought this was cute and I can't really cook but I can bake I can totally bake and so I got this really cute pink spatula because I love making cakes and so this is gonna be my cake making spatula yeah and we can't always eat with our fingers as much as we'd like to you have to you know if you're going to live off campus you're gonna need some plates obviously this one is just a plain white one you don't want something too heavy because you're gonna get tired of 
you know, putting them in and out of the dishwasher and in your cabinets and stuff. So this one's really lightweight, but I, it's still glass. And then for my plates, these ones are from Kohl's. We got them on sale for like, they were like around a dollar each. And they're really, really cute. This one's kind of like a pinkish red color, more yeah more red than pink but whatever and this one's really pretty turquoise blue color I have three of these and three of these and three bowls so that is what I'm taking for stuff to eat on and I'm clinging clanging these around and all that I feel like this video is just a big hoopla stuff but I hope you guys found any of it helpful and if you liked any of this stuff you know please thumbs up this video for more college videos because I am today is like my filming day so I'm going to film a fashion video after I finish this video I want to show you guys one more thing so hold okay, on guys so this is what I wanted to show you I know the lighting is absolutely terrible but the actual mirror part I got from Kohl's and the flowers and the gems are from Hobby Lobby and what I did was I just picked up off the flowers from the um, bouquet or cut them with scissors and then I put hot glue on them and glued them onto the mirror as well as hot gluing the gems and I think this turned out beautiful I got the idea off of Pinterest and so this is gonna go on the back of my right, door. One more thing I want to say guys so in this video I just want to start something for my channel and I want my subscribers to you know be like a little family here and as it grows I want you guys to be my like under the sea family and my little mermaids and mermans and sharks and fishies and crabs whatever you want to be um I want to be a mermaid so for any of you other beautiful mermaids out there you are welcome to subscribe to my channel and become part of my marina mermaid family and be awesome mermaids that would be awesome so I'm really really hyped up on caffeine right now guys not even gonna lie so if you're not already subscribed to my channel please hit that button down below it would make you awesome as well and stay tuned for more college videos because I'm just gonna do those after this video and they will be put up and ready because I know I'm going back to school really soon and you know I would assume you guys are too so stay tuned for more videos I hope you guys enjoyed this video I keep saying video Thumbs up this video if you like my hair. How about that? My luscious mermaid hair. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And any of you that are already subscribed, thank you so much. And for helping me almost get to 200 subscribers. That is my goal. And I will see you guys in my next video. All right. Love you. Bye.